this episode, I talk about what it means to reverse engineer from a trainer's standpoint. So when I'm working with clients, sometimes as trainers, we get in these like, oh, they understand my language. They speak my language. They know what a squat is, a lunges, quads, come on, triceps, they know what those are. But in reality, they don't. And I remember a good quote from a um, seminar I went to a couple years back, and it was, if you can see through John Smith's eyes, you can understand what and why John Smith buys. I think this is super relative tonight because um, I wasn't putting myself in the client's shoes as I took them through their first workout. And I happened to say, how was the weight? And she looked at me and said, I don't know, didn't say anything, as if I had given her a framework of which to be uh, exposed to. Like, um, it was uh, friendly, it was polite, it was, no, she didn't. Like, what, what am I talking about? So I uh, quickly uh, explained and apologized and said, um, sorry, is that easy, medium, or hard? Most people can relate difficulty um, and speak about difficulty. So I uh, quickly corrected myself and went on my merry way and then put myself in the shoes of the client. And I think um, our lesson for today is to put yourself in Johnson's shoes. Because I think you're really going to understand, um, or eyes, you're really going to understand what it's like. Um, maybe it's taking a, a cooking class so you can understand a, a different nomenclature than, than normal. Um, maybe it's uh, learning how to do something on YouTube that you didn't do before. But just real quick, uh, that's all I have for you today. Um, put yourself in the client's shoes, or your client's shoes, or another client's shoes, or a newbie's shoes, something like that. That's it. Have a great day.